everybody. We'll wait a few minutes if anybody pops on. It's good to see everybody today. Hope we're not going to be by, our, by myself with the doggies. Um, I have some really nice things to show you today for a sale. And um, remember, next week is my Christmas sale. I have some really nice things, and I'm going tomorrow. Hey, Lori, I'm happy to see you. How are you? I'm saying you're petting my doggie. Sorry. I don't know. It's such a beautiful day outside. They think they want to go outside the whole time. So it's like, hey, Christina, I'm glad to see you. Everybody good? It's so nice outside. And like I said, the dogs want to go outside. And I don't trust Happy. He found a another deer, dead deer, and he wants to go roll in it. So he's grounded. He just did that yesterday. So he's in trouble. Aw. So doggies are grounded today. They're in trouble. And, um... If you hear them bark, it's because they can hear an ant fart. I don't, Christina, I don't know if Lori saw that. They, yeah, he has to get a bath every time he does that. And it's like the girls, they sit back and I know they're laughing at him because they don't like to get bath so much. And Katie, she howls really bad. Okay, I think I mentioned my Christmas cell next Friday, 3 o'clock Eastern. Um, it'll be all Christmas. This cell today is kind of, how do you say, end of the year cell or something like that. Where I also got a huge lot of fairy lamps and hi Trisha I'm glad to see you I found a huge lot of lamps fairy lamps and they're all different um we'll sell some today and save some for next week too um they are beautiful they are beautiful. I have an amberina. I have the amber stars and bars. Um, the amberina is stars and bars. So I'll show them all to you and see what you think. It was it was so fun. It's like I got there and she goes, I'll sell you all these. And it's like, oh. Okay, because there were a pile of them. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, what will you give me for the whole thing? And I was just kidding when I set a price. And I kind of chuckled because I never thought in a million years she'd go for it. And it was out of an old estate. And they were doing the clean out. And hi, Jackie. I'm so happy to see you. So, we got some people here. Y'all ready to get started? I think we'll do that. Um, like I said, if you hear the doggies in the background, just ignore them. They can hear an ant fart. So, let's see what's going on for today. I'm so excited. I wanted to tell you that Jackie's sale is tonight, 6 p.m. Central, ah, Eastern, excuse me, Eastern, Eastern. So after me comes Jackie. Um, also, there are two, I think Fat Birds is like at 10, Jeffrey's at 1, 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hang this whole week up. Jeffries is at eight, Fat Birds is at 10, and D Cell is tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern. If she didn't change the time, which I have not seen anything that she did. So if you guys know different, type it into the comments. Let me know. They're all fun to watch. Uh, I love going to everybody's cell and seeing everything. Um, if by chance there's a little girl watching me and not in school, say hi, Lily. I'm not sure she's watching. She's she's supposed to be online for school, so I'm not I'm not sure. But she always watches, and I always try to say hi. Okay, excuse my allergies. And another thing I would like to mention is, if by chance you ever 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 get a box from me, you're not satisfied with it. Or something happens to it, it's broken, please contact me. My email is doggonehappy.co at gmail.com. Please, 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 please contact me because I don't want that to ever happen. It happened to me yesterday. And I was kind of afraid to say anything. So please get a hold of me. I will replace it. I will refund your money. No questions. It's it's quite all right. I know how it all goes this time of year. They kind of throw boxes and act silly and everything else. And if you haven't, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, we're going to start with the first item. Please excuse me for reaching. I still don't have a good table yet. So, because the leg broke. So, the first thing we're going to do is my precious, so sweet raccoon. Look at him. He is so cute. Here is his bottom. He was made for Home Co. His number is 1247, and he was made in Mexico. It's his back. And here's this. And if I need to lower this, just let me know because I can't seem the internet issues and everything else this week has been, it's been a trip. Hi, Kim. Yes, they are very nice. This guy will be $8. Ooh, sorry, my ring hit him. He'll be $8. He has no chips, no cracks. And he just looks like he is so getting into mischief. So if you'd like him, just type in R for raccoon. And he's $8. Okay. Now, I have also learned some things this week. All proud of myself. Um... The second thing I have is a casserole dish. This duck casserole dish has green flowers, pink flowers. It also has little yellow like butterflies. It's all made like a pond. Okay. There's no chips, no cracks. And there's just a little bit of sticker residue on its top. Here's the inside of him. The lid. And I'm going to set it down before I drop it. This is a pretty deep dish. Looks to me like 
mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. There's the inside. It's made by the People's Republic of China. And yes, he does need cleaned up. And I will make sure he's all cleaned up for you. He is number 15. And he is $10. I have 15 on him. I want to mark him down. It's so close to the holidays that I think he'd be great for Thanksgiving or even Christmas dinner. We always have Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I cook for everybody. Okay. He's $10. And there he is. See if I can tip him up. There you go. And like I said, he does need cleaned up. And I will make sure that he's all cleaned up for you. I'm going to set him down. Crunch. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about this bowl. And I research and research and research. And I found it. Finally, this pretty little bowl is etched on the outside. It's Fenton Flowers and Vines Carnival Glass. Check that out, and I'm so proud of myself. I finally found it. This is a very pretty, pretty dish, okay? And this dish is $10, and I lost his number. He's number 38, number 38 for $10. The etching is just beautiful, and it's it's got some wear, like scratches a little bit on the inside, but it is absolutely gorgeous, and very proud of myself. Okay, y'all know just to type in the number or the letter, and I'll get it right to you. If you're wondering about my cross, this cross is pre-1900. It's a Masonic cross. Years ago when I went to Ligonier Valley, antiques show I found this cross and it had a wedding dress and veil and the long gloves and I found this cross and I've worn it for 28 years so the, I just wanted to let you know about that if you're ever wondering it is oh thank you it, it's very pretty I just wanted to let you know. Okay. This bowl looks to me like, uh, how about green bean casserole? Just saying. It is flash amberine. It's cut glass. It is Fenton Carnival. On the bottom of it, it does have a number nine, unless I'm looking at it wrong, and it's a six, but I think it's a nine. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we'll put stuffing in it. How's that? <laughs> Just kidding. That bowl is $8, and it's number 69. The glass bowl and it is flashed. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm so happy to see you all. This is so exciting for me. Excuse me one minute while I scold a doggy. Sadie Ann, shut up. 
Come here, Hoppy. You want to say hi? Come here, buddy. Get up here. Here, come here. Here comes Hoppy. <laughs> There's my boy. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. <laughs> yes, you're my boy. Yes. All right, get down. All right. The next thing I have for you today is this Fenton Swan. And I found out that I have a lot of Fentons, which surprised me. But that's what happens when you do research. And I've learned how important this is. In this, he has, it's kind of flat on the inside. Okay. And his tail is open. He has the tiniest chip right there, if you can see that. But it looks like, it just looks like it was bumped because the paint is still there. So it just looks like it was bumped. There's the bottom. There you go. He's like, um, like a, a teal green color. And when I did get him, people were trying to take him out of my cart. Um, it says on the bottom, the original design by Vondi of California Incorporated. USA, pottery, and that's all I can read on the bottom. And there he is. I think he would look really, really pretty in the bathroom for Christmas and put greens and or special Christmas soaps or anything like that inside of him. And there's his bottom. He is number 98 for $12. It is a pretty color, and I don't collect swans, but I thought it was such a nice piece. And, of course, Fenton, I jumped on it. Okay. And I'm ignoring them. Okay, let's get going on this. I want to turn this on for you. This is Stars and Bars, Amber. Hey, Lily. Hi, Liza. There's my little granddaughter and my daughter. There's the bottom. This is Indiana Glass. And I'm going to throw something at that dog. And I have fairy lights inside to go with the fairy lamp. And let me turn them on for you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't get a kick out of that. Okay, there it is lit up. And I don't have a lid on right. Oh, I see. There we go. There, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. Look, it is a little scratchy right here. Okay, but it's in the glass. There's not a chip, not a crack on this. There's the lid. And I can take this out for you. There you go. Amber seems to be quite a easy one to find. Um, even though for me, they're hard to find. And if I had not got on Marketplace, all of these I would never have found. Hey. Um, my tablet's over there. One second. Okay, for the amber glass, 
um, fairy glot, fairy lamp. Um, it is, oh yes, and the, the bowl that I told you was fit in, it's also called the Marigold Carnival Glass. I didn't know if I mentioned that, but it is number, did I get it? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, this amber fairy light is seven inches tall. It's the large one, and it's $25. And just right, um, if you'd like it, the number's 220. Okay, $25, number 220. The next one is the large... Amberina Flash. Now this does have some wear. But it is the Amberina Large. And I'll turn the lights on. And let you see that. It is the Stars and Bars as well. There's the bottom. There is no chips, no cracks. It just, it does have some wear. It's old. Here we go. All right, for the Amberina Fairy Lamp, I have it marked. The Amberina Fairy Lamp is $15 because of the wear and the paint. Number 252. Okay? Now I have for you... Okay. I'm going to save the best. Here it is shortly. Sadie. <laughs> Next I have Japanese pitcher and cup set. Now, this is old Japan because it's not even in English. It's written strictly Japanese, and I don't read that. It has the bamboo handle. And this little doodad here, it lifts up so you can scoot it over the just like that and hold that piece in place. There are no chips. No cracks. It has a protector for the spout. Here's the lid. And you know what? If you're looking for a Christmas present, I think this is adorable. And it's oh, so pretty. I'm going to set this down and show you the two cups. It's like an amberish brown gold with blue flowers. And it is very, very nice shape. Here's the two cups. There's not a chip, not a scratch, not a nothing on it. The gold is all very nice on both the teapot and the teacups. They don't have a handle. Okay, Ooh. this would be number 27. It's from the 18th century. And like I said, it's called Amari, I-M-A-R-I, tea set. This is number 27 for $15. And like I this would make a really, really nice gift, Christmas gift. Okay. Now, what I do, don't, don't worry that I don't. Ah, thank you. Don't, thank you. Uh, don't worry that I don't see. I stop and I go back and I read all the comments. So... That's where we're at with that. I 
I don't want to take up too much time writing everything down. So I go back through all the comments to see who got what. That's not a problem. Bottom of the teapot. Sure, Trisha. Please forgive me for, for reaching. There you go. Can you see that? Is it good? Hi, happy. Okay. Is that good, Trisha? Hi, Norma Jean. Good to see you. Y'all remember, next Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern, it's all going to be Christmas. And I can get you a sneak preview if you want. Okay, is that good? Hi, Nate. Oh, uh, how are you? Okay, no problem, Trisha. I'll put that aside for you. Okay. Next, I have a plate. And this plate is, there is absolutely no chips, no cracks, and it has a, like a satin finish. And I call these pineys. This is Lufton. Number 3068 on the bottom. Fit in China. I just, I think this is so pretty. All hand painted. The gold is perfect on this. I think this plate's really pretty. This plate's number is number one for $8. The Lefton plate. Okay. Number one. Eight dollars. It is really a pretty, pretty plate. Ah, uh, I know how that goes, right? Very busy and no time. Catch yourself coming and going, but doing this this makes me happy. And I get to talk with you folks, and I love every minute of it. Okay, this again is number one. And it's eight dollars. Number one, eight dollars. Okay. Okay, crazy me. When I first started collecting things to do this, I went into an antique shop and the tag on this item set a bed warmer and I questioned it because it's a thinner metal it's hammered okay and it has rose on top the handle is made to look like bark like a tree bark okay what this is is a silent a silent butler and they go along and sweep the ashes off the uh, crumbs off the table with it. Or walk around dumping the ashtrays in this to prevent fires. Isn't that cool? This is the first time I found these. And I would have gone back and said, you're full of it. This is a silent butler because a very, very special person told me that I screwed up. It's not a bed warmer. It's a silent butler. Okay. It does say um, 552 on the bottom. And ever something forged. And it's hammered. This is so neat. I love this. What a way to protect everything if 
you were a smoker be, that, instead of, or stood it throwing the crumbs on before. Yeah, I do that sometimes. And then the doggies come and it's like, doggone it. Okay, this is number 95 for nine dollars. Now the tag was marked 30 1930s, 40s, but I'm thinking this is more 50s and 60s. Being that they told me wrong in the first place. <laughs> but that's okay. I love to learn. And that's it. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, everybody. If I haven't said it, thank you all for being here. And thank you all so very, very much for coming and putting up with me. <laughs> Okay, I showed you the amber light in the amberina. This one, I fell in love with this. This one is a small fairy lamp. Okay, it's hobnob, hobnail. We were, t I was always taught hobnob, but it's hobnail. Okay, this is fitting. And it's also satin. Now, I'll light it up. Now, I have green lights in this. Check this out. I don't know if the color... Is the color showing up okay? I hope so. Okay, now, check this one out. I'll take the green lights out and it glows. This is uranium. And I think that, look at that. Ah, look at that. It glows. Isn't that pretty? I've never seen one like this. I think it's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, cool, you guys. His wrenches are showing up. I went through and put wrenches in, and looks like Jackie's isn't there yet. Um, Kim's, Dad, Lori's. I put wrenches in, so you all are mediators, just in case. This little guy is absolutely gorgeous, and when you put the green lights in. You can see even how it glows even more if I can get it back together. There you go. This fairy lamp, small fairy lamp, they called it a tea light. Okay, it is, let me find it here. Um, it's, it's fitting custard, okay? And it glows. This one is $22. And this one is number 210. Number 210 for $22. Isn't this pretty? I love this. Okay, Jackie. No problem. Now, my mantle clock. Okay. This is an electric clock, and it's older. Somebody took care of the cord. I don't think, but I could be wrong. I don't know if this was ever recorded or, because here's the cord. I think this is just the original old cord. But this mantle clock is ceramic. It does work. It does keep time. And it does need cleaned up. And I will do that for you. This is Holland Mold. Okay. Holland Mold. 
and this clock i i don't have it plugged in but i promise it all works but it does this here it's got something on it that needs cleaned up isn't that pretty i love old clocks what kind of puppies do i have i have uh boxer and lab mix he's two years old and his name is happy hence doggone happy because that's about all i get done saying oh can you hear her crying i don't know they think there must be something outside there's probably a deer out there and she's crying at it then i have a black lab collie mix and that's the one that's crying her name is Sadie, and she is almost nine. And then I have Katie, and Katie is a coon hound red bone mix, and she's three, four. Aw, that's cool. Yeah, Happy's my buddy. They are all three my best friends. I love the doggy so much. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to let her out. I don't know what's going on. Maybe she has to pee. I'll be right back. I let Sadie out, and I wouldn't let the other two out, and now they're like, well, now, Mom, that wasn't fair. But, like I said, I don't trust him to go down in the woods and get into the deer pile again. And he already got a bath twice, yesterday and today. So, <laughs> I made him stay inside. Made it. You want to say hi? Get up here. Come on. Say hi. Here's see if I can bring us down. There, Katie. There's Katie. Hi, Katie. And I think y'all already met Happy. Whoops. Let's get this down a little bit. Okay. Hi, Butterfly. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. And if anybody knows Pink Elephant, honestly, I don't, but I've seen. Her name and other cells. If by chance you know her or talk to her, let me know. I have a small cookbook that is for pink elephants. And I, th when I found it, I thought of her name and let me know because I can send it to her. Um, have her contact me. Um, doggonehappy.co at gmail.com and I will get that out to her. It's it's such a cute and has a pink elephant on the front cover. It's really, really a cute cookbook. Okay, did I tell you the price on the mantle? Clock. Okay, the clock's number is 201 and it also is $15. It is Holland Mold. Now, everybody seems to be doing mystery boxes. So, if you guys are interested in mystery boxes, I will put a mystery box together for you. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I hope. And we're going to start the mystery boxes out at $15 as well. So if you wondered or wanted a mystery box, just type in MB for mystery box. And I'll get one off to you. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Okay. The next lamp. Oh, hush. Is another fairy lamp. This one, as well, is small. It's cobalt blue. 
It's flowers and leaves. Now, I couldn't get the battery pack and the lights to fit in here and get the lid on it. So I put this little electric votive candle in. There we go. To light it up and show you, it's kind of hard to see with the lights on. There's no chips, no cracks in this. All the etching in the, gla in the glass and the leaves and the flowers are all on the top. There's nothing on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? I fell in love with this. This is very pretty. Okay. This one. I wish you could see this glow. Check it out. For Christmas. Oh my gosh. And if you don't have green fairy land, fairy lights, if you wanted this, I can put the green lights, leave the green lights in it. Because just type it in. Hey, I have a cookbook for you that has a pink elephant on it. Type in your um, email or send me your email and I'll ship that right out to you. It is so cute. There's nothing wrong with it. It's cute as a button and has a big pink elephant on the front of it. It's really cute. Okay. If you need the green lights to go inside this, let me know. I'll leave the green lights in for Christmas. You can have them. And I think this might be the only set of green lights I have. Um, okay. Next, I'll show you my bookends. We talked about these last week, and they definitely need, very much need cleaned up. I put them aside and forgot to do that. But most of all this is just, it scratches. These bookends are old and were just thrown underneath the table in a box. They are, the car, if I can get him off of here. This car is put into the bookend by wooden pegs. They're wooden pegs that hold that together. I will definitely, definitely get this cleaned up. I would never ship it like this. And for a gentleman with an office or a library... These bookends are so cool. I'll take Murphy's oil soap to this wood and get it much better cleaned up. The detailing in the car is just amazing. I don't know. Can you see that okay? There are both bookends. Um, here's the other one. This one's one headlight is missing. Oh, both headlights on both cars. Wait. I get to talking and then I can't get the words out. This one is missing the headlight. But you can't tell it. Unless you really look at it. And it's funny because both bookend cars were both missing the same headlight. And... I pulled this apart and tipped it upside down, and I found the one headlight. I'll get that glued together for you and get it glued back on. I was just lucky to find that little doodad. Okay? And I think these are so, so cool. They have nice bottoms where it doesn't scratch anything and it'll set still. They're almost like a rubber. Okay. And these bookends 
our letter B E for bookends. Okay. And you can have them both for ten dollars. You can listen all you want. <laughs> I got a big mouth, it's okay. Okay. That's my bookends, and I promise I will clean them up. Um, here is my little black trinket dish. There are absolutely no markings other than the sticker made in Japan. The gold on it is beautiful. I'm going to say it's an iris or a lily, maybe. And it's just a little, just a little common trinket, trinket dish. Get my paper out of it. There you go. Blue diamond wants the blue fairy light. Okay, no problem. Like I said, you put the numbers in for me and... I have everything wrote down. When this is all over, I'll go back in and make sure I get everybody's thing. Because if I sit here and write everything down, it just takes so much of your time. And what number for the blue fairy light? It is, and I'm sorry if I didn't say it, the, the blue cobalt blue is number 217. It's four inches across, five and a half inches tall. It's absolutely perfect, and it's $15. Is that okay? All right, we got it. And I promise you, I, I have everything wrote down. And I don't even close this out till I get back in. Okay. Okay, Lori. Why? Um, why? Lori, which one was why? Why? I keep saying, why? Lori, your wrench showed up. Awesome. Now, if Jackie shows up, we'll be all right. Lori, is there something why you wanted? If you do, just... No, okay. Okay. So this little trinket dish... And I think it's very pretty. And like I said, there's not a mark, not a nothing on it. It's, I'm pretty sure that this is hand painted. I'm pretty sure it's not transferred. And this little guy is number 50. Here we go. Ah, for $8. Number 50 for $8. You know what? It is applied. I apologize. The florals are applied, and it came from the 1950s. I get myself all twisted around. I still get so nervous. I'm afraid of saying the wrong thing or afraid of messing up. And let me tell you, <laughs> I make plenty of mistakes. Okay, I have a matching trio. These are oil lamps. And this one needs straightened up. It does fit up there. It's cut glass like stained glass. There's no chips, no cracks. I don't think this has ever been used, ever. It, someone did burn the wick 
it, they, it's an old wise tale if you have a new wick or a new candle in your house, make sure you light the wick. It's bad luck to leave an unburnt candle or wick in your house. That's what my grandma always told me. Okay, here's the second one. And again, there's no chips, no cracks. Now what, these two do not have, and they're just a hair bit smaller than the third one is the shade that goes on top. The third one does have this shade. See if I can set these sort of like that. And here's the third one. The base is different. Where this is more diamond cut. Okay. This is more of a colored glass. And the stripes on the bottom. Okay, and here, there's the shade. The shade fits, and it belongs to it. It's just you've got to be careful because it does weeble wobble. Why they made it like that, I have no idea. I often want to turn it around, but it don't fit like that either. <laughs> there you go. And it says on the bottom, Japan. Okay. And there you go. This would also make a really nice, pretty gift. They're amber. There's the bottom. All their insides are there so that you actually can burn this if you like. Okay, you can, oh, I'm telling you, only me, you can have these as a set, as all three, for $25. This one alone will be $10, $15, I'm sorry, and both of these will be 5 So, if you would like these, let me know if you want all three. Or just one or the other. These are number 300 for 25 or 15, 5 and 5. Number 300. Now, this pretty little angel hangs up on your wall. Look at her. She is perfect. And I think she would be pretty in a little girl's room. The flowers are perfect. Nothing's chipped. Nothing's broke. Her gold on her wings are so pretty. It says on the bottom, um... Telso, manufactured Telso, and it's made in Japan. You can hang her up. She's porcelain. Is it too pretty? I guess I could have saved her for Christmas, though. She is number 88 for $10. I had her at 15. We're taking her down to 10. Or she she would be pretty hanging in your bathroom even. There is nothing wrong with her. Okay. So number 88 for $10. And she's even, even the blush on her cheeks show up. Oh, sorry. Even the blush shows up. And I don't know why that keeps flashing like that. But it's crazy. Okay. 
next I have my clip clock book. This book is a little kid's book. It's been well loved. It's called Telltales. And it's about a horse. Now, I was born in 1956. And I drove my grandma absolutely crazy to read me this book. She could have told me this book by heart. Every word. And like I said, it's an old book. And it's about a little boy. And the horse who had shoes. It's all about... The horse doesn't understand how everybody has different shoes. Like the little boy has cowboy boots. But the horse, he can't wear cowboy boots. And he just, through the book, he just doesn't understand the different shoes and why he can't wear those shoes. Okay, and if you would like this little book, just type in Clip Clop. And like I said, his binding, he's coming apart pretty bad. But it's neat for, de and this does come off, it's neat for de decor. And like I said, I was just a tiny little girl and I... I asked my grandma to read this book to me over and over and over. And this is a Whitman book. Um, Racine, Wisconsin. Whoa. Get back up here. Racine, Wisconsin. Now, the book I have for you, I just grabbed this one to show you. The one I do have is in, another one is in much better shape. And you could, it's exactly like I ended up with like five of them. And you can have this just right click clock for $3. It, by Whitman. Okay. Now we're doing. $3 on the next two books as well. This one, because I had trouble finding anything out. And like I said, this is an old book. It's been well used, well read, and well loved. This is called Rhymes and Stories by G.W. Luce. I did Google his name. He is an author from the very early 1900s. He, this book is published in Columbus, Ohio. It has Christmas candles on the front. The back, you can see that it's been stuck to something. There's the binding. But if I was 100 years old, I'd have more stuck to the back than just a binding. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's all right. No problem. Okay, here's the illustration, Jenny. I'm just happy that you all are here and you come to visit me in my house and see what I have. It just makes me happy. So, you made my day. Even if you're doing something else, I do the same thing. I carry my watch sales and carry my phone around with everything I'm doing. So, that's perfectly fine. There are poems in here. The Birds Christmas in the Distant Land of Denmark. Jesus' Little Ones, Uncle John's Way. Look at the there are pictures. The illustrations are so cool. And you can tell by that how old the book is. It is paperback for the lack of knowing exactly how you call that paperback. 
Okay, there's a prayer in the back. Love one another. Children, do you love each other? Are you always kind and true? Do you always do to others as you would do to them to you? Are you gentle to each other? Are you careful day by day not to give offense by actions or by anything you say? Little children, love each other. Never give another pain. If your brother sparks in anger, answer, not in wrath again, but not selfish to each other. Never mar another one's rest. Strive to make each other happy and you will, you'll, oh, sorry. And you yourself be blessed. I told you I get talking too fast and then I get all messed up. They're just little short stories and little short poems at the fair. All right. This book just write rhymes and stories, okay, because I didn't give it a number, and it also is $3. Early 1900s, this is, but like I said, it's very well loved. Okay, now the next one is the Saturday Evening Post Family Cookbook. Over 175 treasured family recipes from Post readers. The humor of famous Post cartoons and sampling of 50 years of classic recipes. Pages of the Saturday Evening Post include Southern, New England, Midwest, German, Jewish, Pennsylvania Dutch, and driver's other specialties and here it is this is quite a nice shape for as old as it is it contains salads eggs and cheese vegetables rice and potatoes fish poultry beef and pork entrees bread desserts and international specialties here's the back And we'll open it up on the inside, and it has graphics. Check this out. This is so nice. Um, it has 83, 93 pages. Wait. I'll get there, I promise. 95 pages. There's the last page. And all the recipes in here are awesome. Some I can't even say. Authentic spinach bean dip. Oh. And then they have the authentic spinach bean soup. I like bean soup, but I don't think I want spinach in it. This is Aunt Bertha Sanborn's Blueberry Cake. Okay, there's a whole bunch in here. The pages are not torn. They're not ripped. This is in very, very, very nice shape. Um, and it's from Indianapolis, Indiana. And the copyright is 1970, 1975, but in there. If you'd like this cookbook, this is $3, and just type in Saturday evening. That's good. Okay? Next, I have... These really cool pot metal pencil sharpeners. Here's a lantern. The wire on the top of the lantern is gone. This is a pencil sharpener. These are from the 70s. This one is a stamper. 
You hear my doggy? Now she wants in. It's a weather vane. It turns north, south, east, and west. The name on the bottom, and I did write it down, and now I can't find it, is Durham. Durham Industries. 1975. Isn't that neat? And this one is a stamp. Oh, sorry. Weather vane. There's the pencil sharpener. This one's a cannon. This is so cool. This one, too, is a pencil sharpener. The cannon moves. The wheels move. They're all pot metal. And I didn't know how to tell pot metal from... Um, cast iron. I do, I do now. Um, a magnet won't stick to pot metal, but will stick to cast iron. That's what my wood burner is. That's what, what we heat with. And my magnet stuck right to it, but it wouldn't stick to this. This one, too, is a pencil sharpener. And like I said, the cannon moves. The wheels move. This is so neat. This one is a stamper. This one is made in, these are all made in Hong Kong. This one's dated 1978, Durham Industries Incorporated, New York, New York. This cash register, check it out. It is, well, is a stamp. The drawer comes open. Hey, that'd be cool to hide a ring or something in. Okay. This, your crank turns. Okay. Now, here is the car. This car is, says, it is also a pencil sharpener. And the date of the car is 1907, I think. 1917, excuse me, 1917. It's the same thing. It's a pot metal. Look at that. And it's a pencil sharpener. Check out that steering wheel on the horn. And I said before, this looks like Jethro Bodine's car from the Hillbillies. Okay, pencil sharpener. If you would like all of these together, okay, these are all $5 each. And the letter is P, $5 each. If you want all five, I'm sure we can work something out. Just let me know and we'll see what we can do. I, maybe um, there's five of them, so... Maybe all five for $20 or $5 a piece. Just let me know which one you want. The cannon, the car, the lantern, the weather vane, and the old cash register. I just think it's really cool that there are parts on here that move. Okay, so $5 a piece. Just let me know which one you want. Two are stamps. These two are stamps. These three are pencil sharpeners. The can in the car and the lantern are the pencil sharpeners. The weather vane and the cash register are stamps. Just let me know which one you want. Just type it in. I'll grab it. Okay? Now, this I got from Alex, Chapter 2, Vintage Co. And if you want to see what these buttons look like, they are so cute. And as soon as I put a coat on, if it ever gets cold, I'm going to put this on. 
They're nicely made. It says reseller, the time when good things come to those who thrift. And if you want one of these, get a hold of Alex. I think it's her mom that makes them. But it's such a cool little button to put on a coat or something when you're out shopping. Let everybody know who you are and what, what you're doing. Okay. Throw that in there. Next, I have this Cupid doll. And I love, love, love Cupid dolls. I must have like five of them. This one is the original Cameo Cupid doll by Jesco. Okay? The Cupies by Rosie O'Neill. She has not been out of the box. Here's her box. The box is in awesome, awesome shape. Um, it says Cupid doll for a good child. And I'll open it up. She has her tag. Let me get her around here. Dogs. Hey. Enough. Here we go. There she is. Isn't she pretty? She's not ever been out of her box. There's her tag. Okay. There's her little curly cue. And the blue, she has more of a black eyes. But look at her face. She's so pretty. Here's her tag. Sorry. By Jesco. And it says on her tag, Cupid goes to school, 1983. The clothing, clothing was designed by Shirley Peppies. And it says Los Angeles, California. There you go. If you would like her, just write doll. And she's $14. Her box is a little creased here. And you can see where her tag goes all the way through the box to hold her in. Just right doll, $14. Okay, let me reach. Excuse me. I have another swan for you. This does have crazing. And I have seen other swans like this, and they're painted. This one seems never to have been painted. Unless somebody washed all the hand painting out. She is a planter. There's her bottom. Her wings are absolutely beautiful. Check that out. And she's got such a side, sweet looking face. I love her little face. There's, there's no chips, no cracks. There's her bottom. She's $9. And she's number 26. $9, number 26. I can see putting a plant in there. It would be very pretty. Okay. Next I have... I have to reach. T for one, anyone? This stacked teacup and teapot. 
There's the cup. There's the bottom. And I don't know if it's showing up any good or not. Any good. Very good. There is no chips, no cracks. It says Amalfi, A-M-A-L-F-I. It's designed for false craft. It is false craft. There's the lid. Isn't it pretty? I think this is very pretty. I like uh, I like false craft. Okay, it's perfect. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. This is number twenty two. Number twenty two for six dollars. T for me. Okay. There you go. That's number 22 for six dollars. Okay. I'm still amazed over this. I think I this lights up so pretty. I'm still amazed over that one. Okay. Here is a green checked tablecloth. All right. Here we go. This is a big tablecloth. Now, I sew. So from here to the end of my hand is a yard. So that's one. A yard and three fourths across the top. This would be really nice for a kitchen table for Christmas. Or for any for a picnic, maybe. Okay, that's how wide it is. Okay. And it is, let me get the end here. One, two, three. This is about four yards long. Sorry, I got hooked. Four yards long. There's no stains, no, no rips, no tears, no nothing. And this tablecloth can be yours for $5.00. Number 301. Number 301. I do not like wearing a coat. I agree. I wear sweaters. Even in the wintertime, my supposedly heavy coat is a sweater with a hood. And that sucker keeps you warm. But, yeah, I don't like wearing it. Bye, Kim. Bye, Jane. Okay, and there you go. I should save that for next week. I have, and I think I killed the battery. I have fairy lights in this glass, milk glass vase. And I put fairy lights in it and Christmas bulbs. And when the lights are out, sitting on that green tablecloth, yeah, that's Christmas all the way around. There you go. And if you want the Christmas bulbs, you're more than welcome to them. Okay, and we're taking this down. Wait, let me get my paper out. I buried it. Okay, it's seven and a half inches long by seven and a half inches wide. The number on it is 1187 Narco, Cleveland, Ohio. It's number 33, and this is $8. And like I said, if you would like 
The tree bombs, you're welcome to them, the tree ornaments. There's no chips, no cracks, no nothing on it. And if I turn it upside down, I'm liable to lose the bulbs. Okay. And we'll make this $8, number 33. And I want to change the 10 to 8. And we may have this next week if it doesn't go. Hi, Angela. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you all again for coming and being with me. All right. Excuse me for reaching. I got to do a better job with this table. Here is a milk glass candy dish. It actually can be anything you want it to be. But it's the grapes and the grapevine leaves. Okay. There's no chips. There's my paper. There's no chips, no cracks. This is in perfect condition. It just needs cleaned up a little. It does have a little rough edge. It's not a chip, but it's a little rough edge right there. Okay. Milk glass. Grape and grape leaves. And this would be pretty to put your hard candy in for Christmas. This is number 70. And it is $8 as well. Number 70, $8. Okay. Next I have my Amberine Carnival Glass. Also, little candy dish. And this is cool because it fits down over it. It don't just fit on top. It fits down over the dish. This is very pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in great condition. There's the lid and the top. All right. It is Amberina. It is Carnival. This is number 84 for $5. Number 84 for $5. Oh, that'd be cool. I've never seen pink milk glass. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Christina. <coughs> ah. Next, I have this tent. It is nothing but flowers. It has a vase on it with the flowers. It's a hinged lid if you collect tens excuse me <coughs> wow there we go there's the inside of it okay and i'm going to read to you what it says on the bottom i think comfler it came from Long Island, New York by O-A-M-E-R, Omer, made in England. This is pretty. And for as old as it is, I think it's in very, very nice shape. And I saw a fuzzy, yo. Okay, this tin is eight dollars and it's number 99 eight dollars number 99 not pretty 
It shuts so nice, too. There we go. Here's the bottom. Okay. I appreciate you too, Nate. Okay, no problem. I'll get that set aside for you, Christina. The, the Amber Handy Dish and the Cupid Doll. I showed my granddaughter. She's nine. I showed her the Cupid Doll, and she looked at me, and she got this funny look on her face. And I said, what's the matter, honey? You think it's creepy? <laughs> It doesn't have hair. Okay. <laughs> this is my happy train. This is a bank. Isn't he cute? My little happy train. There's his bottom. There are no markings at all. And I did try to find something, anything. You can tell that there was a sticker here because the sticker residue is still there. I, I apologize for not knowing. I just suit and happy. And I'm sure any little one putting money in. Or taking money out. Because he does have his plug. It's right there. This is number 100. There's, You can see a little bit of wear on the paint right here. From where money went into it. But it is older. You can tell by the bottom. Okay. This is number 100. Okay, and it is eight dollars. One hundred eight dollars. Yes, you are, Nate. You're always so sweet. No way, nobody would ever get rid of you, Nate. Okay, I have another casserole dish. Now, this dish is lighter than the first one. And this is mom and the two babies. Okay. Mom has a chip on the paint right here. Looks like somebody slammed something into it. But the paint is nice. It's basket weave on the bottom. It looks like all the, um, what do you call cattails on top. Here's the inside. That chip on her tail is the only chip. Whoop, the only chip there is. She does need cleaned up. Here's the inside. No chips, no cracks on this part. This is number on the bottom, 425. And quite honestly, it does say whatever it says. Um, Atlantic. Oh, boy. Atlantic mold. Okay. There it is. Isn't she pretty? Let's see. Now that we took care of the green bean casserole, um, what else we got to put in here? Um, mashed potatoes was the other one. And the green bean casserole. Let's put... Uh, broccoli with cheese. There you go. 
And if you would like her and the babies, like I said, their beaks are perfect. There's nothing wrong. She does need cleaned up. And if you would like her, she's $10. Number 302. $10, number 302. Um, these, it's going so fast. A lot of Wedgwood, yeah. And eBay, I had slag vases, Wedgwood blue slag vases, and I just sold those. There you go. She's ten dollars. Number three o. What did I say? Three o two. Three o three. Let's make her three o three. Okay. I can't wait to go back and read all this. Um, Angela, you're awesome. I would love, love, love help. And I just found another chip right here. I just. You want to know any, look for chips or anything, use the palm of your hand. And I just found this one right there. But it can be filled in. It can be covered. I would love, love, love help. And I will email you. That would be awesome. Thank you. Okay. Next I have for you. Um, some jewelry. Um, here we go. I'm not sure because it's still in the box and I didn't want to dig it out. It says Dare to Dream. It's a star and it has rhinestones in it. It's made in China. And like I said, I it's so packed in there that I'm not exactly sure if it's just a little trinket that you carry with you or if it's a pin. And trying to get this back out, I'm afraid to mess up the box. Okay, and it has the lid. It says dream. There you go. This is number 20. $3. Number 20 for $3. Only because I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure. It's. I think it's just something that somebody would use. Um... Like I carry a personal cross in my purse. I think it's just to remind little girls or even little guys, don't give up your dreams. Follow your dreams. Okay, that's $3. Number 20. It's still in the box. The rhinestones are perfect. Okay, here is, and I have these wrote down. Um, okay, we did mention the mystery boxes. If you would like one, just write M, mystery box, MB. They start at, they'll be $15. Okay, this is... A ceramic pen. And I think instead of wearing this as a pen, it's hand painted. It has cherubs. And flowers. And this one down here looks like it's playing a, a horn. Here's the back. 
and I would secure this if I still had a ponytail. I would secure it in my tail. Okay. The next one is on the floor. The next one is these flowers with pink rhinestones. Okay, there's the back with the leaves and these pink rhinestones are all there. Here is a snowman family in a stocking. This says Christmas is for family. And there they are. Aren't they sweet? This is so shiny and nice. There's that one. And this one is a reindeer or deer. It's red and green scarf around it, around its neck. And you can call me blonde, but it took me forever to figure out this pen. And it's like, it's a deer, you big dope. <laughs> I kept looking at it like this, trying to figure out what it was. There you go. And any of these pens, if you like these pens, please type in which pen you want. The ceramic, the stocking, the deer, Or the flowers. And each pen is $8. And just type in which pen you would like. And I'll take it from there. Okay. Um, I think for today, I've shown you everything. Um... If you would like to see anything, I will be doing a haul video either tomorrow when I get back or um, Sunday. And I'll give you a sneak preview of next Friday's Christmas sale. Okay. Anybody like to re-see anything? Anything that I have? Oh, I like tarnish too. That's like crazing. I love crazing. I like, what do you call that? Patina. Uh, it just makes everything so awesome. Now, um, another thing I would like to tell you, anybody's birthday is in this month, November. I don't care when it is. I don't care if it's already passed. But if you have a birthday in November, type in your email, tell me, or yeah, type in your email, tell me when your birthday is, not the year, I don't, I don't know, just November, and you'll receive a nice little birthday gift from me. At the end of the month, if there's more than one birthday, and Jackie, you got a major size package that should be delivered to you on Monday. Um, that wreath was much bigger than I really realized. But Jackie got October's, and it was a witch's hat that I made. And it had the witch's feet at the bottom going both directions. And it said Hocus Pocus. And Jackie's was the only birthday so, besides mine. So... Jackie got that, as well as a birthday gift. So if your birthday's in November, please write it in the comments. You will receive a birthday gift from me. And then at the end of the month, we're going to throw them in the air. I was reading the comments. I apologize. I can't do two things at once. Um, at the end of the month, we're going to throw all the names in a hat. We'll dry, 
draw one name out at the end of the month. And you will already have a small gift from me, but there will be a very nice birthday gift for you from me at the end of the month as well. That's what we'll do. Okay. And I think we're going to do that for a whole year. Every month we'll do that. We'll throw all the names in a hat at the end of the month and draw one for a very special gift from me to you. Okay. Um, we talked about the birthdays. Like I said, if you ever get anything from me that is broken, that has a problem, you're not happy, please email me, doggonehappy.co at gmail.com for anything. Even if you just want to talk, that would be great. Um, I am also Jane Newhouse. On Facebook, if you want to join me there, that's wonderful, too. Um, okay, guys, I have one more thing to show you, and this one's special. Well, at least it's special to me. Hold on, I have to go get it. This oil lamp is dated 1865. Okay. Has the metal here. It has all of its inside, so it will, you can burn it if you want. It does need cleaned up. And this is marble at the bottom with the scallops. And I'm going to turn it upside down. There's that. Like I said, it, I do not know the name of the company that made this. I was told Fenton, but I am not going to hold to that because it was the same antique store that told me that the silent butlers were bed warmers. So I'm not holding to fit. And like I said, it really needs cleaned up. There is one little chip in the marble right here. But once it sits, you can never see it. And like I said, it is dated 1865. Think about how old that is. That is just too cool to me. It's well over 100 years old. And this comes apart. It unscrews. To put your lamp oil in. Or coal, coal oil lamp. But it is solid there so that it doesn't go through. And it screws back together. If you would like this beautiful lamp. And like I said, it is dated 1865. If you would like this lamp. This lamp is $25. And it's letter L for lamp. If you want the measurement... I'd be happy. Yeah, my last name's Newhouse. N-E-W-H-O-U-S-E. -E. Just like it sounds. It used to be Jackson. Until I got married. There you go. And like I said, the soil lamp is $25. Letter L for lamp. And there you go. Okay. Anything anybody wants to see? Um, 
that I might have. If you've got time, I can run in and grab a few things out of my Christmas box that I'm getting ready. Um, remember the mystery boxes. And like I said, please, 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 if I know how the post office is, I also know how they throw things. If by chance you get something that's broke, please, I, I'll be happy to fix it. Not fix it, but make it right with you is what I'm trying to say. I'll refund your money if I have anything similar to what you wanted, um, anything like that. That's not a problem. Don't be afraid to tell me or let me know because it just happened to me. And um, it had four things in the box. And three out of the four things were shattered. So don't be afraid to let me know. Um, I trust y'all. I believe y'all. I don't have a problem. I don't need pictures um, unless you would like to send them and show me where I goofed and didn't wrap it well. Um, that's just about all I have for today. I'm looking around and make sure I got everything. I think I did. Um, if you want a sneak preview of the next. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. My email for this is doggonehappy.co at gmail.com. And if by chance you get into my other email, I do have two, and it's newhousejane at gmail.com as well. Okay. Um, anybody need, would love a sneak preview? Awesome. Hi, Pat. Hold on. Take me two seconds. Okay, maybe three. Now, if you do see anything today that you would like to have um, either in the cell or in the sneak preview, go ahead and email me or let me know in the comments, please, and we'll take care of it. Here's my little angel. She has the Wedgwood. Very light Wedgwood dress on with her little coat. Her gold on her wings is just beautiful. I have not done a lot of research on her, but she has a blue bird of happiness. Her hair is in a tail, and she is just the sweetest little girl. Okay, now I can watch the comments. You are awesome, Pat. Thank you so much. I'm just so happy to see everybody, and I love it. I do. This is so important that people, because my first couple of shows, I think there were three people. So anything more than that, I am so excited. And that means I'm growing, and that's really important to me. But there's the angel. Um, oh, me too. I love old things. I always have. Between my grandmother's and my mom's oldest brother, my uncle, he, he was, 
he and his wife worked at Indiana Glass and, uh oh, what's the anchor hockey? And they collected and they were antique dealers as well. And that's where I got my answers from. And he collected so many antiques. He started my grandma's collection and bought her an old hutch. It, it was beautiful. Um, what else do we got? If anybody's interested yet in a turkey for Thanksgiving, I do have a turkey planter. I forgot about him. I'm sorry. Here you go. With his mouth open, squawking. I think. No, that's his gobbler thing. So this is a boy. There is a chip right there. It does have some crazing on it. Um, and it does stay on the bottom. Cap Haitian. Made in Haiti. There's a rough spot right there, but it's not a chip. The only chip was right here. Isn't he neat? I really like him. I think he's cool. Okay. Um... Let's see what else is in here. I have these old boxes. These are well-made old, old just boxes. With the angels on it. There's one little rough edge right there and right there from setting around, I guess. There's a heart on top. It says on the bottom, Primitive Colors and Christmas. Um, R.A. Lang Card Company, LTD. There's the bottom. And these boxes have little boxes inside. You can stack them however you like, if I can get them out. Okay, this one says Bob's Boxes, Primitive Colors for Christmas, LTD, just as the other one said. And this is a present, has presents on it. Here's the bottom. These boxes are really nice shape for old boxes. And it has a star with holly berries and holly leaves. Okay, inside this box is another box. And this box says the same thing, only it says preemie. Prime lot. Prime 5 LTD. Bob's Boxes. This one has Santa with a tree. Holly berries and leaves. There we go. Aren't they neat? There's the top. There's the bottom. Bye, Nate. Thank you for coming. Okay, inside this box is another box. This one has snowmen on it, and it's more red. Here's the inside of those boxes. It's exactly, they all fit together. They're so old looking and primitive. I love it. 
There's a star on top. The bottom says the same. And on the inside of this box is another box. And this box has trees. And it's the littlest one. There's how big it is. And the star on top. And the holly. Here's the inside. Okay. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay, there's the sneak preview of the box. Like I said, you see anything that you would like, you're interested in, stop me. We'll talk. Um, write it in the comments. Yeah, I know. Um, my grandson will be 18 by Christmas. And um, also, he has a brand new baby sister coming. So I will have three grandchildren, two girls and a boy. Isaac will be 18. And he's into not so much gifts, but he's into um, more money because he is going in as soon as school's out, he's going into his own construction business. And the, the tech teacher is helping him out. He will be in the union and I'm going to stuff dollar bills in there. Okay. And make him open them. Only not these boxes, not the ones I have to sell, but you know, other boxes because what I want to do is get three boxes and stack them and paint them um, spray paint them white and make them into a snowman and stuff dollar bills into it just to be ornery and just to be rotten yeah that's what I want to do and if he's listening guess what I don't think he is though okay this wooden tray would be cool to set anything on. It's got some paint wear on it. Okay. But it's got an angel flying in the night with the stars and the moon. It has a house and sheep. I'm not sure what the house and the sheep, what the sheep have to do with it, other than with baby Jesus. And it was made in Taiwan. Okay, there you go. I just think it would be cool for like a little bed tray for an early morning Christmas in bed. I don't know if anybody gets that because I don't, but we used to do that for mom all the time. Okay, this little guy. I haven't quite decided if he's a turkey, if he's a dove, or what he is. <laughs> I haven't decided. I think he's a turkey. She's a turkey. Excuse me. There's no marks on her. But look at her face. She's got her head down. You think she's really pretty. Please understand, I have not done any research for this. So, um, what else do I have down here? Okay, this is a souvenir piece. It's wood. It's dated 1998, The Cat's Meow. But it's, it's called National Treasures. Series, the Washington Monument. And on the back, it tells you all about the Washington Monument. It's just a nice little... It's signed right here. Um, Fallon, maybe? I'm not sure if that's an F or a T or a J. Jalen? Fallon? I don't know. But it's Right there. 
and it's dated 1998. And I think that would make it, even for somebody that's from Washington, D.C., or you would like to go there. It's about, uh, I would like to go, it's about four hours from me. So I don't think that's too bad of a drive. Here's a Lufton Bell. Okay. The sticker, and it tells about it on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Come here. I don't think you can. Pretty ding a -lings. And this is Mary, Joseph, Baby Jesus, the three wise men, two shepherds, and lambs. That's what the sheep had to do with it. Duh. And on top are... It's real soft. The colors are like watercolors. And uh, up here are all um, ponsettas painted on there. It's raised. And I think this is just so pretty. Okay. I set that aside and hope I don't crash. I'm good at crashing. Um... Salt and pepper shakers. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're snowmen. They're green across the top. This is just one. They're both here. Neither one of them have anything wrong with them. There's a snowman. They have plastic stoppers in the bottom. So I would say they're not real old, but they're nice and heavy. And I like that. I'm not a delicate, dainty person at all. So anything that's a little more pottery, I do much better with. I have gingerbread man and girl. Here's the little gingerbread man and the girl. She needs her bow fixed. And good gosh, she needs her hair, her dress pulled down. Aren't they cute? Little gingerbread. They're cloth. They're probably stuffed with the way it feels. Old polyfill, maybe. Um, foam. I, I can't tell you what they're stuffed with, but they are cute. There. And I have... A red, oh my gosh, carpet. There we go. Keeps coffee hot. Most people have Carex now, so this might not be, there's that, but it's red. And I liked it. Okay. That down. Here's my snowman plate. He's hand painted on the back. You can feel his painting. There's no chips. I don't, I'm sure there isn't. No. This is a nice size plate. And the kids already told me that if I get another plate like this, that Buckeyes are going to go on it. They look forward to Buckeyes. Okay. Um, I have the Santa. It says Christmas across the bottom here. This is um, made for Hallmark. And the little bird.
These are my snowman plates. These are li like little sandwich plates that size. There's two of them. There's the other one. There's no chips, no cracks, no nothing. And it says snow friends collect collectible by and the stickers over it and I can't read it. By Nicholas somebody. Made in China. They're dishwasher and microwavable safe. So you can put food on them. And I think these are adorable. I love blue snowman. Okay. I have this snow girl. Snow girl. Little girl with a Okay, I think it's a kitty because it has a pink bow. Isn't she pretty? All dressed for Christmas, red and white. Only this is more of a darker red. There's her bottom. And even though she's round, it's sort of flat, so she sets still. She won't move on you. Um... Here's this Santa Claus, and he's metal, and I haven't checked him out yet, but he is a bank. Isn't that cool? He's cold, so he is metal. It says, made in China, and there's where it's put together, so... I'm not exactly sure how you ever get your money out of it, but I think he's just cool as a decor. Um, it looks like there's a fake screw right here, like you would screw him apart or something. Bye, Jackie. I'll see you in a bit. Y'all don't forget Jackie's cell at six. I know she's busy getting ready. Um... Here is, I don't know, oh, here's my white Santa with his staff and his bag. He's all sparkly around here and here. Um, there is no markings that I can tell on the bottom. There's no chips, no cracks. I just think he's really pretty and sparkly. Sparkles. There he is. What else do I have? That's Santa. Everybody's got Santa Clauses, so I've been looking for other things besides the like snowman. Santa, yes, but more different Christmas. This just says Merry Christmas. It's still got the tape on it. And it says on the other side, bless us everyone. With Santa and the snowman. There's no chips that I can tell. I got to get that tape off of there. Um, someone burned a can Oh, I did. Somebody burned a candle in it. This was also made in China. Yeah, that's just dirt and residue from the tape. He's pretty neat, huh? I suppose you could leave the candle in him. I will clean this out. Make sure I get the candle out. You can put a candle in if you like. Or even an electric candle. Um, fairy lamps. Lights. Here are just little, little coasters. It still has the tape on it. Sneak preview. They all say, as far as I can tell, they all say, mm, share, share some Mary. 
share some Mary. There's one, two, three, four of them, and I'm pretty sure they're all alike, but they're glass. You can use them for coasters, little butter pads if you like, whatever you like. Share some Mary. Um, oops, lost my Santa. Okay, here's this Santa with the teddy bear and his sleigh. There's a little ball down here that's green and red. It's made in China. There's two more. Here's this one. They're just little guys. Oh, lordy. They're just little guys. There's no chips, no crots in these. He's holding his bag. Cool. There's another one as soon as I come across him. And I showed you the little girl. Here is Santa Claus, made exactly the same way as the little girl caroler. And these are heavy on the bottom, so they don't, they're really hard to knock over. I did that. Okay, no chips, no cracks. He's got a sweet face. Um, here's my Santa Bell. He does need cleaned up. Isn't he neat? He's, he's pretty big. He's still got his stuffings inside. There are no, no marks to him. Pretty dings. Great. Dinner's ready. Hey, he's cute. There. Alrighty, I have my cookie jar. Here's the bottom of the snowman. He's made in China. Here's his back. Got a little red bird. There's the bottom. I'll show you his head in a second. Oh my goodness. Here's his head. No chips, no crocs. And I stuffed him so nothing hurt him. There's his head. <laughs> and his hat. And his little red bird. I found this beautiful green tablecloth. It's still in a package. It's like an emerald dark, emerald green, jade green. Um, it says Woodland Holiday, and it says a tip from Martha. So this must be a Martha Stewart one is what I'm guessing. Like I said, I haven't bothered with any of this, but the measurements are, I can see them, um, Oh boy. 60 by 84. That's what the measurements on this is. And I'm not taking it out because I will never get it back in. But it's 
beautiful Christmas green and holly leaves on it. And I hope you can really see that because it is pretty. Much pre I think much prettier than the green checkered. But if you have a farmhouse, the green checkered looks really awesome. Okay, that's what I found so far for Christmas. I'm going tomorrow. If Also, if anyone knows um, or if she's here, less, under 10, less than 10, something to that effect. I'm still looking for Christmas tree ornaments that you wanted. Um, I have not found anything except for cookie cutters. And I see you can see my big doggie in the background. That's Sadie Dog. She's the one that's not. It will be nine in December. She, she was the one that had to go pee. Um, but I'm still looking for that. If you guys see it, know of anything that you might maybe are looking for, or you might think that maybe I'll find it. Um, this is Pennsylvania, and you never know. Um, email me. Uh, send me a message somehow, write it in the comments, anything that you might be looking for that I can find tomorrow, because the store that I'm going is back to the same place where I found like the old oil lamp that's dated, um, some of the fairy lamps they found there. I found a really lot of neat things. It's just that you have to dig and it's dirty. So, hi, Lori. Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I thank you so much. I think they are, but I'm kind of prejudiced. They're kind of like my little kids. So, if there's anything you want me to look for, because this man is an auctioneer and he also does clean outs. So you never know what you're going to find. You have to dig in boxes and you have to dig under furniture and stuff. So if there's anything you might want me to look for, please leave it in the comments. I will check it out and see what I can find. Lori, we would just, Messing around a little bit. Is there anything you might like to see? I've got stuff everywhere. And we were doing a sneak preview for Christmas, which is next Friday the, at 3 o'clock Eastern. Um, just what I've found so far for Christmas. We can, anything you might like to see. I'm just happy everybody's here. Yeah, I love all animals. Um, I gave my daughter some apples, big crate of apples. She kept going out for the apples, but the apples kept disappearing. And she goes, Mom, he's so cute. I said, what is he? And she said, he's a possum. I said, oh, God, Liza, he looks like a big rat. And she said, no, he's so sweet. He can have all the apples he wants. I said, you're right. He can have all the apples he wants. And deer, oh, I collect deer and I collect dogs. You know, any, I have like all kinds of figurines, all kinds. If you can see that way. Red coffee pot have any inners? Um, the cafe. It's just more, it's like to keep your coffee hot instead of letting it set on the burner and cook. It's like a thermos, like a carfet is, and there's not, there's no, wait, let me see if I can find it again. Is this one you're talking about? Because if it is, you just pour your coffee in or I bet you. Because it's plastic, you can put cold, like sweet tea or anything in it. But there's the insides. There's nothing in there. 
Is that what you needed to know? Oh boy, you got that right. The de my coon hound fights with possums. Oh, Christina, <laughs> I'm one of those. This is one you were talking about? Yeah. If you're interested in this, you know why? It's, I think it's sweet. It's very light. It's not heavy like a real thick carfay. And the bottom does unscrew. I told you, I haven't messed with some of this stuff. I don't know if you can hear that. But it does move and tighten up. I just thought it was cute because it's red and the lid is now I got the lid on. I can't get it back off. <laughs> I put it on too hard. Ah, I had it off once. You know what it looks like. I'll get it off. Oh, bless your heart. You let me know how much I owe you for them. I don't, you don't have to do that. And then, Again, if anybody's birthday is the month of November, please let me know. Mark it in the comments. You have a birthday gift coming from me, a small gift. And then at the end of the month, we'll throw all the birthday names in a pile, in a dish, whatever. And we'll draw one name and you all get a very special birthday gift from me. Um, and we're going to do that for every month. And... That pops down. That's cool. Maybe that's why I could. That's exactly why I couldn't open it. Check that out. I'm amazed. Okay, so when you put it back together, put the lid back on. And there. It tightens the lid. That is cool. I never knew that. <laughs> Okay, anybody want to see anything else? Because I know I'm holding everybody from supper, and I don't want to hold you from Jackie's cell or Jeffrey's or Fat Bird Fine cells. They're all coming up tonight. Um, Jackie starts at 6. Fat Bird is at 10. Jeffrey's is at 8. And D's is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Easter. Easter. Okay, which is Saturday. So I want to hurry up, get there, and go through all the boxes I can find tomorrow. I like raccoon. Yeah, and you know what? Raccoons can be very mean. There's a man that live, a kid that lives way up the road from us because I live on top of a mountain. And he came down to see if anybody would seen his dog. And I hadn't seen it. And later he found the dog, um, a raccoon drug it out into their pond and drowned it, the dog. And it's like, I stood there when he told me and I cried. That's just how much I love animals. Horses. Oh, I'd love to have a horse again. Haven't had a horse in years. Likes the plaque. Okay, carry which flock, and I'll set it aside for you. Um, oh, boy. You mean the big dish thing or the plaque that, or this? Oh, no. You're okay. Just rewatch and then email me if you find some you like. You just email me. It's no big deal. Honest. I'm just glad you're here. Is this the plot? Okay, Carrie. I will set this aside for you. Do you want the measurements for it? It's really cool what it says on the back. Um, 
Built in honor of George Washington, this monument has been completed on December 6th, 1884, after standing unfinished for 25 years. It is a classic measuring 555 feet, five and a half inches tall. Inside the monument is hollow. Its inner walls are sat with 193 carved memorial stones that are presented by individuals, societies, cities, and states, and other countries. Inside an elevator carries tours to the top of this monument for a spectacular view of Washington, D.C. Individuals can also opt for walking tour the 897 interior steps to view the memorial stones. And it tells you all about it. And I'll set that aside for you. Um, I had like $5 on it. Is that okay with you? Oh, Christina, I'm sorry. Yeah, I honestly, I had $5 on it. I was going to put $5 on it. So that's perfectly fine with me as long as it's good with you. And if you guys see anything, if you've seen anything and you think about it later on, just email me or leave it in the comments. I check back with them every now and again and also um um leave any comments you like in the comments today and i'm going to get off of here so y'all can go to everybody else's cell i don't want to bump into jackie and i know it's getting dark so i will see you all next week friday 3 p.m. Eastern, and oh, you're welcome, Carrie. And um, we'll have nothing but a straight Christmas sale. I'm going to go back and reread the comments and watch myself so I make sure I get everything right. Also, I'll have a couple more, a few more fairy lamps. So, um, quite honestly, I don't know. I know the blue one sold, but I don't know if this one did. And it is uranium. I just have green fairy lights on the inside. And I hope you can see how pretty it is. It's like I'm stuck on this thing. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's the satin and the hobnail. It looks like, like a basket on the bottom. It's really pretty. So anything you see, anything you might like. Okay, no problem. Take your time. I know there's, like I said, I know Jackie's cell. Um, I don't even know what time it is. My lot. Yeah, Jackie's cell starts in a half hour. So you all have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You made my day. And... Remember the birthdays, remember to tell everybody, and anything you like, just let me know. I'll jump right on it, and I'll get it to you right away. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Joggy, say bye, too.